Congress is expected to approve President Rodrigo Dutroux's request for a one-year extension of martial law in Mindanao, but minority senators will still put their objections on record. House Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez said Tuesday, December 12, that he was confident that Congress will accede to the President's request, saying there is factual basis for the extension. Senate Minority Leader Franklin M. Drylan on Tuesday, December 12, said Drylan noted that majority of the members of both houses of Congress are allied with the President. It is expected that notwithstanding our reservations and opposition, the Congress will authorize the extension of Marshall for one year in the entire Mindanao, as requested by the President. So we will go through the motions. Ultimately the Supreme Court will have to decide on this, whether or not there is, in fact, a factual basis for the extension of Marshall in the entire Mindanao, Dryland said in a statement. Dryland said their objections would be based on constitutional grounds. We will raise constitutional issues. There is no armed uprising or actual rebellion, which is a requirement under the Constitution for an extension, he said. Congress is scheduled to tackle on Wednesday, December 13, Dutroux's request for an extension of martial law in Mindanao until December 31, 2018. Martial law was declared in Mindanao on May 23, 2017, shortly after fighting broke out between government troops and MOT terrorists in Marawi City, Lanao del Suriname. Under the 1987 Constitution, martial law is good only for 60 days. Congress, however, approved before the July 22 expiry of the Declaration Dutroux's request for an extension until December 31 this year. While Marawi has been liberated and authorities have declared an end to the war, Dutroux cited the continued threats posed by other terrorist groups and the communist rebels, whom he also recently branded as terrorists. In his December 8 letter to Congress, Dutroux said martial law is needed to ensure total eradication of Dace inspired Dawatul Islamiyya Waliya Tul Masrik, DIWM, other like minded local slash foreign terrorist groups, L slash FTGs, and armed lawless groups, AUGs, and the communist terrorists, CTS, and their coddlers, supporters, and financiers. He said remnants of the MOT group were trying to rebuild their organization by recruiting more people from Magandaneo, Sulu, Basilan, and North Cotabato. Alvarez told critics of martial law that he does not see any reason why Congress should deny the president's request. Para S.A. Akin N.A. Taga Mindanao, I don't see any reason why Hindi Pugbibigan, for me, who is from Mindanao, I don't see any reason why Congress should not approve it, Alvarez said. This is Alvarez's message to the critics who say that there is no factual basis for the extension, Pumantasila Dun S.A. Mindanao, go to Mindanao. The Davao-based Solon said rebellion and terrorism, which have plagued Mindanao for so long, could end under a martial law regime. Asked by reporters if there is a constitutional impediment to the planned extension, he said, Para S.A. Aiken, Wala Kasi Hindi Naman Yan Aprubahan Kung may problema S.A. Batas, for me, there's none. That won't be approved if it's not legal.